<laughs> I'm just sitting here laughing at me, thinking about what my neighbors must think of me, watching me sitting here, taping myself, talking to myself. Look. Well, I would say for a trade-off because he keeps banging and he's really getting on my nerves with the banging, but I think he's a really nice guy, so I'm not going to complain about the banging as long as people don't complain about me talking to myself. Okay, I'm going to see if the male lady came. I can't do that. I can do so many things, but I am not an octopus. Oh, boy. Oh, see that house? Wait. See that house? That house I got well acquainted with when I first moved into this neighborhood. Okay. Um, electronic cigarettes. That's amazing how much they look like real cigarettes. Taste like them too. I don't know why I didn't put before this. Anyway. I'm so busy right now. Okay, I'm back. So that house, two weeks after I moved in, I guess I just ordered pizza for the first two weeks I lived there. And uh, I decided to cook, so I made these pork chops. And I turned the oven on and stuck the pork chops in without looking. Kind of how I accidentally killed our cat a while ago. Not on the stove, but just because I didn't look. Another long story. And I didn't kill the cat. Um, anyway, so... I didn't realize that the oven was brand new and that it still had the plastic covering <laughs> all over it, all over the racks and everything, everywhere, until I smelled smoke. And then I ran in and I swear when I opened the oven, it was like a massive fire. That's what it looked like to me. And I went running to the neighbor's house. I mean, what else do you do? But I ran so fast and I was so terrified that by the time I got there, I practically fell against the door and started banging on it so hard and screaming fire and I saw the guy through his um, window. He was sitting on the on the couch and he was eating his burger and his burger went flying out of his hand. He jumped over the coffee table. It, it pulled out all the plugs in his wall so all of his lights went out. I heard everything tumble. He still got up and came running out with a fire extinguisher and his wife followed and they ran past me all the way into my house into the kitchen and I got up behind him and he opened the oven and there was like a little flicker of what might once have been something. And he looked at me like, oh my god. So, I don't, I didn't really get off to a good start with them. I think for the most part my neighbors have been just really entertained, but, you know, keep a distance, I'm sure. I would not want to be my neighbor. I would definitely not want to be my neighbor. No, I would want to be in my neighbor. I'm not loud, so I wouldn't be bothersome. All of my chaos goes on inside.